good morning good afternoon good evening for everybody who are watching this video let me welcome you all <coughs> to our channel future endeavors okay in the previous classes we have discussed about the physical quantities measurement units the same units and the various physical quantities that we generally use today actually we are going to discuss how you measure length okay so all of you at the topic measurement of length <coughs> okay so when i am talking of measuring length you must be thinking of the scale the ruler and various other instruments that you see in your day to day life around you okay so those are obviously measuring instruments which are used for measuring length but they have some limitations what limitations let me discuss with you see the regular measuring instruments that is the scale <coughs> ruler or the measuring tape they have a limitation of measuring of measuring and that is they cannot measure very small quantities obviously if you have a ruler with you at your hand in now uh, right at this moment you can see that the ruler is calibrated into say a small ruler is calibrated into 15 cm and the gap between 1 cm 0 cm 1 cm or 1 cm 2 cm 3 cm and 4 cm there are 10 small divisions okay there are 10 small divisions in between two consecutive cm markings now <clears throat> so what can you actually do or what can you actually measure with this kind of scale you can measure say up to one decimal place of the centimeter isn't it one decimal place of the centimeter so it is not possible to measure it measure any further smaller quantity okay now before going into details of measuring spawn lengths we will be discussing one term which is called the least count okay least count now what is least count this is a very important concept so please try to understand very carefully <coughs> see least count in a very simple language you can say the smallest measurement that a measuring instrument can do can measure is called its least count okay the smallest measurement that it can do so obviously the ruler that you have in your hand you can measure with a accurately one decimal place of a centimeter isn't it that is you can measure say length of 5.1 cm 3.2 cm 9.7 cm like this you can measure but you cannot actually measure up to two decimal places of cm isn't it definitely you cannot um, measure the length of a object as 5.32 cm okay <coughs> so uh so actually this is a this is the actually the smallest measurement that you can make with your measure measuring regular uh, scale is actually 0.1 cm so the least count of that scale or ruler that you have in your hand is 0.1 cm <coughs> that is 0.1 cm means you can say 1 mm so for a measuring instrument like scale the least count is 1 mm so if i uh, say the definition or if i write the definition of this count it says that it is the smallest measurement smallest measurement okay that can be done by a or by an instrument okay smallest measurement that we done by us is into it <coughs> as for example i already said that the smallest measurement that you can do with a regular scale or ruler is 1 mm or 0.1 cm now so this is the least count okay uh, likewise say uh, if you have you have already uh, known about the ammeter do you know what is ammeter yes obviously uh, you have studied about current isn't it so actually uh, how can we measure current for measuring current there is a device called ammeter 
<coughs> okay, so ammeter is a device used for measuring current. Now, say if an ammeter, for an ammeter, say there are 10 divisions in between say 0 ampere and 1 ampere. So I am considering that, so this is an example that I am giving to make the concept of this count clear. So if that is a 1 meter and there are 10 divisions in between, 10 divisions in between 1 ampere, 1 ampere and 0 ampere, sorry, 0 ampere and 1 ampere mark, okay, 1 ampere mark, okay, so there are 10 divisions, okay, so what will be the list count, so the list count will be actually, list count will be actually 1 divided by 10, that will be equal to 0 0.1 ampere, okay, now if I, if I say that there are, instead of 10 divisions, there are 20 divisions, say if I, there are, if I say there are 20 divisions, in between the 0 ampere and uh, ten, 1 ampere mark, okay. If there are 20 divisions, <coughs> then the list count will be. If there are 20 divisions, then the list count will be. You say it, what is the list count? The list count will be 1 by 20. So, in this case, when you consider that the that that actually you have 20 divisions, so the list count will be 1 divided by 20. So, that answer to be. 0. Point, 0. Point, what is the what will be the value? 0. 0.05, isn't it? 0. 0.05. Okay. <coughs> so that will be the value of the list count of that ammeter, of that particular ammeter. Okay. So in this way you can find out the list count. This is just a simple example, like this one take a more, many more examples. Okay. Fine. Now we will be coming to the particular topic that we have been discussing. So, I think the concept of discount is clear. Okay. Now, let us come back to the topic of measurement, measuring the length. Okay. You know that <coughs> as we have been talking that while measuring the length with the help of regular instruments, the uh, list count can be say 0 0.1 centimeter or 1 millimeter, isn't it? So, if I want to measure length smaller than that, less than less than 1 millimeter or 0 0.1 centimeter then what you can do uh, we can actually there are some special devices okay now what are the special devices let us uh, there are actually two special devices which you can use one is called the vernier calipers one is the vernier calipers okay and second one is the screw gauge okay second one is the screw gauge fine so these are the two instruments <coughs> that we generally use in measuring very small lengths. Okay, vernier calipers and screw balls. Fine. Okay. Now we will be discussing this one by one details. So first of all, I will be discussing the concept of uh, the principle of the concept of the vernier. Okay. So let us discuss the principle of the concept of vernier. Okay. So what is the principle of vernier? Okay. Now. Principle of <coughs> Vernier. Principle of Vernier. Okay. Principle of Vernier. Okay. So, what is the principle of Vernier? See, <coughs> Penny Vernier was well, a scientist who actually devised a method by which length up to second decimal place of a centimeter can be actually measured. Okay. So, he actually uh, overcame the limitation that uh, we generally face while measuring the length of a length with the help of a regular meter scale. Okay, or regular ruler that you are using. Okay, he devised a method and that method is actually called the Vernier method. Okay, so actually in this method what is, uh, in this method what is done, there are two scales taken. Okay, there are two scales. Okay, so Mm, what are the two scales? One scale, actually, so in the principle of one, you can say that two scales are two scales are taken for measurement. Okay, are taken. What are the two scales? One is the one is the main scale. Okay, one is the main scale, and second is the vernier scale. Okay, vernier scale. <coughs> now. 
actually uh, what uh, what is the main construction here that the if the main scale uh, is provided with uh, with, with uh, some uh, graduations and each graduation is uh, each division is equal to 1 meter okay so in the main scale each graduation is division the smallest division is equal to 1 millimeter okay so in main scale the smallest division smallest division <coughs> is 1 millimeter okay 1 millimeter it is then it is the fact that it is 1 millimeter okay now <coughs> on the uh, vernier scale okay the there are uh, there are in divisions in the in the, the constructions are made such um, in the vernier scale if there are n number of divisions in the vernier scale then it will be actually equal to n minus 1 division on the main scale so what did i say if there are n number of divisions this construction is made such if there are n number of divisions <coughs> in the main scale then there will be n minus sorry in the vernier scale then there will be n minus 1 division in the vernier scale sorry main scale okay so what do you say that uh, please note this fact that if there are n number of divisions on the vernier scale uh, or you can write it like this n number of division divisions on vernier scale okay <coughs> equals to n minus 1 divisions divisions on main scale okay main scale okay main scale so this is the basic uh, 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 construction principle that is actually followed okay so if i consider say there are 10 divisions on the vernier scale okay then it will be equal to actually 9 divisions on the main scale isn't it if there are 10 divisions on the vernier scale then it will be equal to 9 divisions on the main scale or say if there are 20 divisions on the vernier scale then it will be equal to 19 divisions on the main scale okay so is it clear <coughs> fine now so how can we actually find out the least count of the vernier scale <coughs> how can we find out the least count of the vernier scale okay so determining the least count of the vernier scale actually involves a uh, few steps what are those steps let us see see but for but before saying that how we actually determine the least count let us look at one thing as i said there are n divisions corresponding to n minus 1 division on the main scale, isn't it? So if I say <coughs> that there are um, 10 divisions okay, on a vernier scale, on vernier scale, okay, that will be equal to 9 divisions okay, on main scale. Now, as you know, we have taken that <coughs> each division on the main scale is equal to 1 millimeter. So, 9 division on the main scale means 9 millimeter. So, basically, 1 division, 1 division on vernier scale will be equal to 9 by 10 division on main scale isn't it now as each scale on the each division on the main scale is equal to 1 millimeter so basically 9 by 10 division means 9 by 10 millimeter or 0 0.9 millimeter isn't it so basically i can say that one division one division on the one division okay one division on vernier scale is equal to is equal to 0 0.9 millimeter can you understand this <coughs> as because each division on the main scale is equal to 1 millimeter so we say 9 by 10 division on the main scale will be <coughs> equal to 9 by 10 millimeter so it is equal to the 1 division on the vernier scale so actually vernier scale 1 division on the vernier scale measures 0 0.9 millimeter so 
actually can you actually uh, you can see that one division on the main scale is equal to one millimeter, whereas one division on the bandit scale is equal to zero point nine millimeter. This difference, this difference is utilized in determining the least count. Okay, so least count of the Vernier scale can be least count of the Vernier scale can be taken as so least count of Vernier scale is actually equal to this, equal to to this difference so value of one main scale division so it is equal to value of one main scale division okay minus value of one vernier scale vernier scale division okay vernier scale division okay so this is the formula for the least count so actually the formula for the least count turns out to be that may value of one main scale division minus the value of one vernier scale division <coughs> so in this case what you have done you have seen that the value of main scale division is one millimeter <coughs> so it will be equal to one millimeter minus 0 0.9 millimeter so that turns out to be 0 0.1 millimeter so the least count of this kind of vernier scale will be taken as 0 0.1 millimeter okay is it clear so i think the concept of the vernier scale division is clear okay fine <coughs> now in general so how can we actually in general uh, take this uh, or measure or measure the principle. So, do, do I have a direct formula? Yes, definitely we have a direct formula. So, how can we arrive at that direct formula? Let us see. So, in general, I think you have noted it down. If not, please pause the video, move back at me, and please note it down. It will be easier for you to understand the concept. Okay. So, in general, how can we uh, derive the formula? How can we arrive at a formula? So, if I say that n division n division on vernier scale okay vernier scale is equal to n minus 1 division on 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 main scale okay <coughs> okay so now if i say that the uh, one main scale division, okay. So, value of n divisions on the Vernier scale, okay. So, if I consider the value of one main scale division is x, okay. So, if I consider the value of one main scale division is x, so if value of one main scale division is x, so you can do anything, okay. 1 millimeter, 1 centimeter, uh, anything, anything, okay. So, therefore, uh, from this, you can say, therefore, 1 division on the Vernier scale. So, from here, you can add, therefore, 1 division on <coughs> Vernier scale, Vernier scale will have a value of, value of, what will be the value? Value of, okay. So n minus one, n minus one by n into x, isn't it? N minus one into x, isn't it? I think the calculation is clear. N minus one into x. Okay. Now, so for the least term, we will be subtracting the main scale division, value of main scale division minus the value of vernier scale division. So this term can be calculated as main value of one main scale division is x minus value of 1 vernier scale division is n minus n into x so if i play the lcm and calculate the value it will turn out to be x by n turns out to be x by n isn't it okay so here is the formula so what is the formula for the risk count so risk count for the vernier scale is equal to value of 1 main scale division by the total number of divisions on the vernier scale okay so this is the value of 1 main scale division by the total number of divisions on the Vernier scale. Okay, so this gives you this gives the formula for the list term. Okay, of a Vernier scale.
So I think the concept is clear. Okay. <coughs> so today we will be ending our class here. In the next class, we will be discussing about the Vernier calipers in details. Okay. So till then, please do take care to study well. And if you have any query, please do mention in the comment box. We will be happy to solve your problem. Okay. Till then, next till the next video. Goodbye. Thank you.